In Vietnam, animals play an important role in people's livelihoods. From commercial farming to backyard flocks, the production of healthy animals provides a positive contribution towards ensuring food security both nationally and locally. But producing healthy animals isn't always straightforward. Infections such as Newcastle disease, classical swine fever, and foot and mouth disease can cause mass death in livestock and bring economic hardship for farmers. Even worse, some animal diseases can transmit to humans. Indeed, most of the recent human pandemics around the world originated in animals, including Ebola, MERS-CoV, rabies, and avian influenzas, to name just a few. One virus, highly pathogenic avian influenza, or HPAI, is extremely lethal. It kills both animals and humans and is one of the world's most significant diseases. With a mixture of genes which allows it to infect chickens, ducks, birds, and humans, outbreaks of the HPAI subtype H5N1 are exceptionally dangerous. Previously in Vietnam, it has claimed the lives of 64 people, killed tens of millions of birds, and caused an economic loss of up to 1.8% of GDP. So what can be done to prevent the next mass outbreak of avian influenza or other zoonotic diseases? First, we can reduce possible risks of infectious agents spreading along our food value chain, from farm to chopsticks. To do this, we can help farmers to adopt safer practices at the grassroot level before animal products reach our dinner tables. Secondly, we need animal health authorities to be fully equipped for early detection and effective response to outbreaks of infectious diseases, including new pathogens. Having excellent diagnostic, disease monitoring skills, and the ability to respond quickly are key to being prepared for a potential pandemic. Thirdly, working with neighboring countries is vital in preventing outbreaks and responding quickly when they do occur. Infectious agents do not respect borders. It is therefore imperative that we share information to monitor the cross-border movement of animals and animal products. Lastly, we can coordinate and collaborate under the One Health approach. This is a comprehensive interdisciplinary approach to disease surveillance and control that engages the principles of public health, veterinary medicine, and ecosystem health. By strengthening and combining the approach to animal health, human health, wildlife, and ecosystems, public health authorities are able to respond more intelligently and appropriately to infectious agents shared and transmitted from wildlife to livestock and people. Through sustaining animal health and promoting safe production practices in Vietnam, the Emergency Center for Transboundary Animal Disease, also known as the ECTAD team of the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations Vietnam, has been supporting the Vietnamese government to control outbreaks of H5N1 HPAI and other zoonotic diseases since 2004. With a focus on quick detection, controlling the situation, and preventing a pandemic, FAO ECTAD Vietnam is working hard towards ensuring food security, improving livelihoods, and achieving the first three UN Sustainable Development Goals. 1. No poverty. 2. Zero hunger. And 3. Good health and well-being.